Hey everybody, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me here on Music with Todd Ledbetter. I got something pretty special for you today um, in, in my view, and I think it will be in some of your view as well. Um, <clears throat> we're looking at uh, some more tangent, but let me just first say something, and the reason why this is special for me, okay, my channel is pretty small. I get you know, I get some views. Sometimes I get a lot of views on van bands I know that are huge or now that I found out that are huge that I never heard of before. And, <clears throat> but most of the bands that I play that I get from you guys are, they don't get a lot of views, you know, anywhere from like 20 to maybe, I don't know, three or 400 regularly, uh, mostly around under a hundred, frankly. Not very many views, okay? So that means there's not a lot of people watching, but um, sometimes uh, what you guys are awesome to do and you guys are great that comment and you're the ones giving me this music that I am just totally digging. And I, that's something that, that's the whole joy of this channel is hearing the new music and having you guys share it with me and then I can share with you uh, uh, my response to it. And uh, it's just really fun for me. Um, <clears throat> but every once in a while, um, I'll hear from a band member and uh from the band that i played like for for example machiavellian gods i just happened to be wearing their shirt um they reached out and su were super nice more than one of them uh and uh you know t they put my video of their of the reaction of their song on their website and their facebook and their social media what what not uh, I ended up doing the whole album because I just loved it so much. It was so, so, so good. Okay, so them and then Richelieu. I've been doing some Richelieu. And I don't know, a month or two ago, um, I've, I've been doing Richelieu for quite a while. And um, I hear from one of them. And super cool email. Super cool email. And I, I'm just like, wow, that is so awesome. Well, it happened again. Okay, and it happened with the tangent. And as you know, I just recently discovered the tangent uh, not long ago, last week, actually. And um, Andy Tilson commented on the very first uh, reaction that I did. And I thought that was really cool. He goes, as the songwriter, you know, I was like, oh, my gosh, this is An this is Andy from the tangent. That's so cool. Um, and he was really nice. It was just made me feel really good. Well, the next thing you know, I get another email and he says, Hey, I find another video, another tangent video today. And, uh, and so he emails me this, but I don't see it. And so he Facebooks me. So he goes to the trouble to find my email down in the description. It's not hard, but then write a beautiful, uh, beautiful email that is just not like too two sentences it's it's multi, it's multiple small paragraphs and with just the kindest things to say and um you know uh it was just really nice the, the way he sort of you know uh reacted to my reaction <laughs> he re reacted to me of my reaction of him and he was so favorable and i just really appreciated that uh it was nice and the things he said but beyond that, okay, like I said, so he, he Facebooks me and says, hey, man, I sent you an email because I didn't see it. So I go back, I look for the email, I tell him on Facebook, oh, I'll go look for it. And then he sends me the email that he sent on Facebook. So he goes another step to make sure I get the email and that I see it. And and I do. And like I said, it was just really nice. But um, there's more. He ends up telling me on this email that they have a new album coming out. Um, on June 10th and I'm thinking June 10th wait a minute that's like less than two weeks away and uh, the album's called Songs from the Hard Shoulder and he actually says on the email he goes the first track uh, and it's called The Changes which is a long one uh, and he laughs haha because you know how long their songs are sometimes it's the one I recommend you should be interested in so <coughs> um the song changes so he sends me a dropbox link and i click on it and it's it's the entire as far as i know it's the entire album well it's at least it has six tracks on it so i'm thinking oh i want to hear it right now but this is through dropbox it's not like a spotify link or something like that it's like wow this like comes right from his desk 
you know, he's sending it right to me. And um, so I'm looking at it and I just have to hear something. So I go to the very last song and I play In the Dead of Night. And then I listen to it and it was great. It was wonderful. Um, really, really enjoyed it. And then I go, well, what else is there? And then I look at the number five song. It's called In the Dead of Night. And then I notice number six is the edited version of the song, right? So I so I go up to the other one. And so instead of like, a, uh, I'm, I don't remember how long the song is. Let's see if I can find out. Okay, so it's a six minute and 32 second song, which was great. Well, the unedited version is 16 minutes and 11 seconds long. So I go, okay. I didn't listen to the whole thing. I, 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 I skipped forward to where the edited version basically left off. And I, and I hear they, they, you know, truncated it a little bit here and there. So, um, but the extra 10 minutes of music that was on the non-edited version was amazing. It was so cool. You know, it just takes you on that, you know, that it takes you on that tangent <laughs> that they are so well uh, versed in doing. It was so well versed in doing. Uh, they're so good at. There you go. And uh, so I did. I listened to In the Dead of Nine. It was just amazing. So I'm super excited to go ahead and uh, do the changes here. Now, this is in a wave of format from Dropbox. Um, so, you know, it's pretty cool. All right. So that's the long uh, story of the whole thing. Um, so that's so there's no video or anything like that. This is just the audio. There's not going to be like an album cover up, you know, on the screen. It's just just the music. So I know that's what it's all about anyways. You know, so we're just going to enjoy 17 minutes and five seconds of brand new, soon to be released on June 10th uh, album from The Tangent called Songs from the Hard Shoulder. And this is the song... Uh, um, the changes. tuned a little bit streets again or phased or something kind of like that a little wah and will I ever see the faces of the people that I love and put my arms around them without fear right yeah without guilt without guilt for the hell of a couple years Town. No people raise their eyes to the 
That bass sounds so awesome. Listen to that. Listen to that. Oh. Yeah. I look at Steve and Jonas by the van on one morning in July, setting off into the great unknown. Water German town and somehow fall asleep with the thought of a job well done. I mean, God, it was so much fun. Up and down the street for hours, we can't find the hotel. And Luke says if they put up a sign. solo or a keyboard solo?
There's that guitar. Every once in a while. Every once in a while. much I want to say. Oh, I want to talk through the whole thing, but I don't. So cool though. And I've been free these 60 years. Well, Luke and Theo do the same. Ah. Will Steve and Jonas be foreigners in the new world of our game? Did we take away anything? Anything. Anything. It was a world as ruled by tyrants. Then we handed it to fools. <laughs> We're disappointed, but never surprised. God. Stories in our eyes. Brothers and sisters, uncles and dads, supporters on the terraces, waving Leeds United flags. The old people remember what went before. It's not time for nostalgia. The future's all.
I turn it up, but I can't. I'm full blast. Wow. All right. Every last second of that. Okay, great. That was amazing. Was it not amazing? That was an incredible song. I mean, <clears throat> in every aspect, and I mean every aspect, lyrically, you know, who can't relate to that? Name me one person that can't relate to that. Lyrically. Just absolutely amazing. I'm blown away, blown away by just the heartfelt sentiment behind that and the storytelling and the imagery. You know, I feel like, you know, I've been lost in my van a lot of these last couple of years, you know, frankly, <laughs> uh, it's hard to come out of, you know, it's hard to find your way, but you know, we do it. We do it. We find somehow we find the inspiration to move forward. Uh, just, you know, as they did with this, you know, we're going to release an album in 2022. They sing. Andy sings. And this is the first track off that new 2022 release. It's incredible, incredible song. Musically, absolutely, uh, absolutely what? I was going to say ear candy, but that's stupid. That's true. But musically, it was so rewarding. Um, the bass guitar was amazing. Just loved hearing all the lines and just how all the all the uh rhythms jonas reinhold i gotta remember that name man he's one of my new favorite bass players i mean just incredible uh musicality absolutely incredible musicality and sensitivity to what the song needs you know when it needs to pedal and push it does when it needs a freaking rock and bass solo I got that Jonas says yeah sure you need one of those no problem I got it oh man the keyboards Andy's keyboards absolutely phenomenal all the different tones um there was only one tone that that I was like uh oh there's that tone that kind of like circusy tone oh the circus stuff um and I, you know, I can't remember when that was. Like, was it right around four minutes or something? I can't remember. Um, but it was over in a in a heartbeat, in a heartbeat. So I was like, okay, all right, let's move on. <laughs> I I don't know what was happening lyrically at that point. Uh, maybe it made sense. Uh, so um, the funny thing is too, uh, the guitarist Luke. Um, Machin, I believe. I don't know if that's a correct pronunciation, but M A C H I N, Machin. Uh, what? Uh, this guy's really young. I mean, super young. Um, what a talented, talented guitar player he is. The interesting thing on this on this song is that I had a hard time hearing if that was him playing because. The way that the guitar and the keyboards kind of blend and meld, almost a la like um, Steve Hackett and Tony Banks, you know, where it's like, you know, is that guitar? Is that keyboard? You know, it, and it just sounds amazing. It just blends uh, harmonically and, and sonically just so well. Of course, there was obvious times when you knew it was the guitar. And that lead at the end was fabulous, Luke. Excellent, excellent, excellent job. I enjoyed that thoroughly. I loved, even when I thought you were going to play the lead earlier and you did that real short solo, but the the little uh, cool licks you did uh, sparingly as sort of the, here I come, here I come. And then you give us a little teaser, but then the payoffs at the very end, which uh, was well worth it. But there were so many other things that I've, it must have been you, you know, just blending in uh, 
with Andy so, so well. I enjoyed that song so much. All the different rhythms, you know, sort of some of the sadness and the music went so well with the, uh, with the, uh, the lyrical content and I guess sort of the story uh, because, you know, things got happy, you know, better times and the, the music reflected that. And, you know, that one point where that drum beat was just, it just felt so good to just kind of just let go and, and release. And that drum beat was just, just not pushing you and not pulling you, but you were just like on the back of a horse riding it uh, at, at full speed, you know, just, or just at a good cruising pace, really just, you know, just going at a great pace forward, moving forward, you know, and uh, enjoying the ride. Such a great drummer, great drummer. Steve Roberts is his name. Drums and percussion. Just absolutely amazing. At times, I felt like I was hearing percussion uh, in there, you know. And here it says drums and percussion. So <clears throat> when I say percussion, I'm speaking like of like hand drums of different types, um, you know, whatever it may be, congas or you know, bongos, doombak, whatever, cajon. Uh, but it was blended so well to the drums. It was like part of the drum set, almost in the mix, even if he played it separately. It was so well blended that it didn't like kind of like stand out as, I'm playing the congas, you know. Uh, it was just a, a really nice blend, just as um, a, uh, Andy and Luke's, keyboards and guitar kind of blend uh, just so beautifully and musically just really really awesome quite amazing really fantastic song just I had I enjoyed it I can't believe that was over 17 minutes really it just it boggles my mind to just be so entrenched in a piece of music that is basically when I say timeless, I don't mean it'll last forever in the annals of music history. It should. This should be probably pretty much the anthem of 2022. <clears throat> if you want to call it an anthem. Or maybe just a reminder. <clears throat> and a way out. Really great. Um, thank you for the privilege of letting me hear this song um, and to share it uh, with my viewers. You know, hopefully uh, this goes viral and, uh, you know, you get lots of lots of uh, listens and record sales um, in your new uh, in your new release, which I'm sure you will, because I know you've got your fans. Uh, but it's just music is cathartic, you know, and. I can just tell in the lyrics that you wrote, Andy, that uh, this album has been cathartic for you, you know, and to be able to express yourself and your views in such an amazing, talented way, you know, just incredibly satisfying for the listener. It must have been just incredibly satisfying for you. And I have to believe that's true because, you know, you went out of your way to send this to me. And uh, that means you're proud of it and you should be really, really good. I mean, I, I mean, for me to say that to you and uh, your storied career, I'm, I, I'm just getting, excuse me, I just bit my lip, your storied career. And I'm just getting into your music. So, and I know there's a backlog there. So, you know, for me to say that is, is silly, but it's heartfelt. And uh, <clears throat> Uh, I just loved it. I loved the song. It was great. I can't wait to hear more of it. And uh, we will wait for the release date to hear a little more uh, before I uh, review um, this album, your latest release upcoming on this channel. Of course, um, Songs from the Hard Shoulder coming up June 10th. So that's, I can wait. I'm a very patient person. I can wait less than two weeks. I mean, what kind of person would I be if I couldn't wait a few more days? But rest assured, I will be playing it here on the channel. So I'll just do them in order since I've started at the top with your beautiful The Changes song. 
we'll just continue right on down the line you know probably starting june 10th more than likely if it works out for me uh, all right guys so i'm gonna let you go it's been a very long uh video here if you're still here with me i want to uh thank you so much and uh and thank uh andy and the tangent for uh just being so kind and just so um giving in their talents and their music and uh, letting us listen to this uh, song before the release date super fun it's just so it's such a cool thing it just it's a highlight really of this channel for me uh you know i talk about oh getting ten thousand views or you know whatever it might be but really you know this is one of the highlights it's just such a privilege to be able to play that uh you know i, I know people get advanced copies you know i get it I'm talking about me. <laughs> I don't get advanced copies. Uh, all right, guys. Thank you so much. Make sure you comment down in the comment section. Let me know what you thought of the song and what you think about the tangent. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Probably won't be as exciting as this, as this but we'll think of something. We'll keep it going. <laughs> all right. Bye.